This might not be a surprise to you guys, but I spend an awful lot of time looking at AI products and AI websites and AI tools. Just this past year, I've probably looked at several hundred different ones, and I can always tell when I come across one that I just have to make a video about because it blows my mind that much, and that's what's happened today. Weirdly enough, what we're looking at today is actually a plugin for ChatGPT. Now, don't click off just yet. I know plugins haven't been anything super magical or super impressive in terms of AI tech. But this one truly shocked me. Now, if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in AI, obviously subscribe to this channel, but also check out my Twitter account and my Discord server linked down in the description below. So here we are in good old fashioned chat GPT, specifically chat GPT plus, because that is the only way that you're going to have access to plugins. And of course, plugins are technically in beta. By the way, they renamed ChatGPT Code Interpreter to Advanced Data Analysis. I think it has something to do with the fact that OpenAI just released their business version of ChatGPT. We're going to be selecting plugins, and the plugin we're looking at is the CapCut plugin. The description is quite simple. Submit your video ideas and let AI craft a script, find suitable footage, and merge everything into a polished video. Let's just start out by asking ChatGPT to make us a video. Can you create a video for me? Oh, of course I can help you create a video. What topic would you like the video to focus on? Well, I don't know for sure. All I know is that I want the video to be captivating as well as usable on, let's say, TikTok. Maybe we can focus on some unique animal facts, right? I don't know, that's kind of a general viral topic idea that you might see on TikTok. By the way, there's a, a study that was released not too long ago that suggests that the nicer you are to ChatGPT, the better it works and the more helpful it is to you. So we're gonna try to be casual and nice to ChatGPT today. Ah, before we proceed, would you like to specify the aspect ratio for the video? Here are your options. I'm surprised that it's asking me this because, oh, okay, yes, it does say portrait suitable for TikTok. So yeah, we're gonna go with nine by 16. All right, nine by 16. Oh, and it immediately starts to use the CapCut plugin, and this is where all the magic happens. It's creating the entire video for us based off of the information that we gave it so far, which is not that much information, mind you. Now our video has been fully made available. It's gonna send us a link to the CapCut website where we can view and download the video that ChatGPT just entirely made for us. So let's go ahead and click the video link. It takes a little bit to load the video inside of CapCut. There's some sort of transferring that's going on, but essentially it's generating a video editing timeline for us that ChatGPT has entirely set up utilizing this CapCut plugin. CapCut has been around iOS platforms and Android platforms for a while as a very popular video editor for beginners. It's been pretty powerful so far. Again, I've done nothing but give it some general ideas and tell it the aspect ratio I want. Welcome to a world of weird and surprising animal facts that will leave you amazed. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Yes, you heard that right. Moving on to the animal kingdom speedsters. The peregrine falcon can dive at speeds of up to 240 miles per hour. But wait, there's more. The tongue of a blue whale is so large that 50 people could stand on it. And let's not forget the axolotl, a creature that can regenerate its limbs. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Stay tuned for more fascinating facts. So, it's pretty darn good right off the bat. We've got specific animations for the text that comes by that ChatGPT obviously generated. It was able to pick out a photo of an octopus provided by CapCut. We've got another photo of octopus as well. Kind of a weird photo to choose, but it works. And there's, of course, transitions in between each clip. We've got another one for a falcon. For some reason, the blue whale just had no imagery at all, so it just puts nothing in. Now, this one might seem a little bland because, let's be honest, our original idea was a little bit bland. So let's ask it for something a little bit more specific. Maybe something we're all into, like AI, perhaps. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new ChatGPT here, and we're going to enable this. Aaron Web Browser is another ChatGPT plugin that you can have enabled along with CapCut, and essentially it has the ability to scrape data for multiple website URLs. So so we can actually paste links in here and it's going to get data for ChatGPT based off those links. So we're going to say, I want you to make a video about this specific topic. The more we narrow down our topic in general, the less boring and robotic it's going to seem. 
We'll go with an AI topic that I actually covered recently. This is Ideogram AI. And by the way, guys, if you haven't seen that video already, I definitely recommend you check it out. Ideogram is some pretty cool tech. We're just going to paste the link in here and see how this goes. All right, it's using the web browser to scrape the data off of this link, and hopefully it will put two and two together and start creating our CapCut video as well. Okay, so it definitely scraped the data from the site fairly effectively, and now it's using CapCut as we predicted earlier. I'm excited about this one. This is very specific, new, like cutting edge information. Typically, ChatGPT doesn't have access to it, so using two plugins together, we could almost do a full video. All right, it did not ask me about the aspect ratio this time. Maybe it just used the default 16 by 9, but free mid-journey alternative ideogram now available to all. Essentially translated the article into a video, and we will click the link and see what happens. One thing I'm concerned is, how is this thing going to get images for ideogram AI? Probably not any good images is what I'm guessing. So that might be the one downfall in this video. Oh, okay, we're starting off with an interesting uh, image. Let's take a look. The Majourney alternative, Ideogram, has recently opened its platform to the public. Initially in stealth mode, it transitioned to beta with a waiting list and has since garnered over 90,000 users who have created more than 3 million images. The platform is similar to Majourney allowing users to create up to four images with a text prompt. However, Ideogram simplifies the process by offering styles like photo or illustration as clickable tags. One unique feature is the topography tag, which enables users to incorporate graphical text into their images. The platform is currently free to use, and the team behind Ideogram consists of former employees from Google Brain. UC Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon University, and the University of Toronto. Okay, it actually did get the university at the end. The only problem with this one is that the images are super, super random because obviously it can't just go pull ideogram AI examples. So we still do have placeholder images essentially, so I can literally just go through this and replace each image, which would take me about three minutes in total. And it picked out a pretty decent background song, all things considered, it wrote the full script out. And I think it did a pretty good job translating that article into this little mini script. The thing is too, it's ChatGPT, it's a chat chatbot so we can actually ask it to edit and change things. Would you like me to change anything in the video, like adjust the aspect ratio or modify the script? I want it in 9x16. Also, Ideogram AI does text in its images when you prompt it to, not only in typography mode. Midjourney can't do text in its images at all, and the images you put inside the video are also irrelevant. It should theoretically now regenerate a new script that's a little bit better. Yes, it's using CapCut, kind of doing as we expect. Oh, and we can see it's actually creating the script right here with the title and then the content. Okay, all right, they've definitely created an updated video. As we can see, the aspect ratio is now correct. Hopefully the images are a little bit more relevant, but again, it doesn't necessarily have the ability to access Google images. Ideogram, a Majourney alternative, has opened its platform to everyone and is currently free to use. Unlike Majourney, which doesn't support text in images, Ideogram allows users to include text in their generated images, not just in topography mode. The platform has attracted over 90,000 users and has been used to create more than 3 million images. Ideogram offers unique features like clickable tags for styles, such as photo or illustration. The team behind Ideogram includes experts from Google Brain, UC Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon University, and the University of Toronto. Not bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that background song though, so maybe I can request a specific type of background music. It seems as though I've discovered a bug here. The video loads and then it stops at 99.9%. .9%. So this is an issue with CapCut, not with ChatGPT, but that is something they are going to have to work on. Let's do something else. Let's take a different approach. Tell me a story about a pig with a crazy twist at the end in video format for TikTok. Make the humor dark. I'm interested to see how this one plays out. Thankfully, this one loaded this time, and I knew it was going to have plenty of photos of pigs to work off here, so I am truly hoping for the best. This video also ended up being longer at 56 seconds, so almost a minute. Once upon a time in a quaint little farm lived a pig named Percy. Percy was no ordinary pig. He had a peculiar fascination with detective novels. <laughs> He'd snort and oink in delight as he flipped through the pages with his snout. One day, Percy discovered something shocking. Farmer Joe, 
was planning a big barbecue, and guess who was the main course? That's right, Percy himself. Panicked, Percy hatched a plan. He decided to fake his own death. He lay motionless in the mud, playing dead. Farmer Joe, thinking Percy had passed away, buried him in the backyard. But here comes the twist. Percy had dug a tunnel leading out of his grave. Just when you thought he'd live happily ever after, Percy emerged from the ground, only to realize he had tunneled into the neighbor's barbecue pit. Talk about going from the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> Okay, that was definitely one of the more intriguing ones thus far. That was funny. All right, so a couple of things to point out here. Definitely a longer video. I think you could probably even request videos to become longer. Like, let's say it generates a 26 second video and you want it to be twice as long. You might be able to actually ask for that. It got an actual pig with glasses reading, which is interesting. Some of the uh, images don't really make much sense, but again, kind of placeholders. You could go generate images with Midjourney or something like that and implant them in. This must have just been blind luck here. It came up with Farmer Joe and Farmer Joe just turned out to be some clip art with his actual name being written out right on the screen. So that was a weird coincidence. I think the weirdest part is just the provided images from CapCut. This is what they have access to. So this is what you get. I want a long as possible one for this. Let's see how far we can stretch this. We'll go 16 by 9. Fancy animations, a solid blue background. I don't think it's going to be able to do all this, but the context of this video is an ominous message from aliens that say they are here to learn about something that might seem obvious to us, but to the alien are absolutely mesmerizing. Make the video very humorous and detailed, sure. All right, we're back at it again with another 55 second long video, nearly a minute. Greetings, Earthlings. We are the Zorblashians from the galaxy of Zorblid 9. We have traveled light years to reach your planet. And no, we're not here for your cows or to abduct your leaders. We are here for something far more mesmerizing, your ability to dance the Macarena. Yes, you heard it right. Our advanced civilization has mastered quantum physics. But the concept of moving your hips and hands in sync to a catchy tune is beyond our comprehension. We've tried to analyze it with our Zorbometers, but they just exploded in confusion. Our leader, Zorblet the Wise, even tried to do the Macarena and ended up in what you Earthlings call a pretzel-like situation. So, we humbly request your expertise in this fascinating ritual. Teach us, and we promise not to vaporize your planet. Or at least, we'll think about it. Remember, the fate of your world depends on your dance moves. Oh, thank you for the message, aliens. That was pretty good. It seems like it uses this one of the same three songs every single time. Hopefully they'll add more in the future, but I'm going to ask for a different song in the background because I don't really like that one. Again, all of that is changeable. You could change out the background music yourself. You could probably ask it for no background music. It really is doing like... 70 80 percent of the work for you here though all you have to do is change out the photos and potentially change out the background song it actually was able to go over a minute in length so maybe you can actually request quite long videos for this maybe even get into the youtube video territory with this that would be really exciting all right let's see if we get better background music greetings earthlings okay it's we are the one of the same from the galaxy or so of stock songs we have to make our message even more compelling We've added a unique Zorblashian tune in the background. It's a mix of cosmic jazz and intergalactic blues, something you've never heard before. So, Earthlings, are you ready to dance and save your planet? Crazy, okay. Let's try three minutes long. So I gave it a link here to an article about SpongeBob SquarePants controversies in the show, and I want it to be about three minutes long here. We're gonna convert this into a video, and let's just ask for no background music. No background music needed. All right, using the web scraper here to achieve a whole lot of information. That's definitely enough information for three minutes long, I would say. And now it's creating our video. Ooh, okay, we did not get to three minutes. However, we did get to a minute 25, so we broke our previous record. It looks like we did not get very good SpongeBob imagery, and it still gave us background music, which we didn't really want. SpongeBob SquarePants, the iconic Nickelodeon show has been no stranger to controversies. Created by Steven Hillenburg and debuting in 1999, the show has faced various criticisms over the years. 
One of the most bizarre controversies involved a Burger King commercial in 2009. The ad parodied Sir mix Baby Got Back, focusing on square butts, and was criticized for being inappropriately sexual for children. Another hot topic has been SpongeBob's sexual orientation. The show was accused of promoting homosexuality, particularly in the episode Raka, Bye Bye Valve, where SpongeBob and Patrick adopt a baby scallop. Hillenburg clarified that SpongeBob is somewhat asexual. The show has also been criticized for its impact on children's mental development. A 2011 study claimed that the show could disrupt mental function and attention span in preschoolers. Controversial episodes like Sailor Mouth, SpongeBob's Last Stand, and Selling Out have been accused of promoting profanity, environmentalism, and left-wing politics. Episodes like Midlife Crustacean and Quarantine Crab were pulled from circulation for being not kid-appropriate and for its similarities to the coronavirus pandemic. Despite all these controversies, the show continues to be a cultural phenomenon. Okay, so overall a decent job. Again, though, with the stock images here, it looks like the AI just does not have access to good ones. So maybe CapCut has to work on that. So it looks like there are some pre-baked in settings here, like it needs to have a song, it needs to have the text appear in a certain way, and it always provides random stock images. You know, there's no charge to this, and it's definitely in a usable territory, at least for the script making and actually setting up an edited timeline inside of CapCut. Make it even longer and more detailed, sure. Again, I want to see how far we can stretch this thing out. Ah, we're in another one of these situations where we're stuck at 99.9% loading. Uh, it seems like it would have been a longer video, though, comparing the two scripts side by side. So, yes, it does seem to be able to break into the two-minute marker maybe even to three to five minutes. So the best part about this is as long as you have access to chat GPT plugins, well, this is entirely free and it looks like it could actually be used to create different TikToks or different YouTube videos given enough time and experience and a little bit of tweaking with those photos and background music. It does about 80% of the work for you, which is more than what can be said for having nothing. So this is pretty revolutionary tech. I'd love to see how they expand upon this further because honestly, guys, I am very excited for the future of AI editing. I do use AI to help me edit my videos, but it doesn't take me all the way. And having something that would be powerful like this, but I could also implement into my video creation process would be really awesome. Thanks so much for watching though, guys. If you create anything at all with this cap cut, I would love to see it in my Discord server. So just drop the links down or render out the videos and post them in my Discord server. We want to see them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.